So do you ever like, do you ever deal with feelings of jealousy? Like on, on either side, are there ever moments of jealousy? And like, how do you handle that? Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, it really is just, just being aware of them before I used to try to fight them. And usually, and you know, this is years back, like trying to fight it, um, usually meant either trying to make the thing go away, you know, like, like, hear me out why this is a terrible idea. Hear me out why she's terrible, right? Um, the second phase of that would be overcompensating for that feeling of just like, no, like balls to the wall, just go do it, just go do it, just go, and then, and then be in the inside like, oh, he's gonna go do it, you know? Um, and so what that balance more like is like, ooh, that makes me feel uncomfortable. Let me think about why. What am I scared of? And like literally telling him like, I'm scared that you've seen me look like shit for a year and a half, day in and day out. And something is gonna show up sparkly with its eyebrows done and its toes manicured and pedicured. And it's gonna make me feel even, you know, even scruffier. And like, okay, that's a you thing. It really is, right? It's like, you know, he's not saying like, don't do your eyebrows or don't fix up your feet, you know? Um, and so just sometimes being able to talk it out and going like, okay, yeah, so I need to either figure that out or or I need to sit in it. This is going to be one of those moments that's going to be a yucky feeling until it's over and I've moved on. Um, and then at other times he's like, you know, I just doesn't feel worth it. It doesn't feel worth it. You working through the jealous feelings or me being able to help help validate you through this doesn't feel worth it to that other thing. Um, so sometimes we just have to go like, you know what, mm, let's pause. Um, and then there, there are other moments that are just fine where I'm just like, my needs are met. I'm happy that you can get your needs met um, today as we're, we're on other ends of the coast right now. He messaged and he says like this nice couple that he's going to be working with. Um, they're likely going to go to the gym, socially distance mass, and then they're going to go to a dispensary, socially distance and mass. And je girl jealousy from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet. I want to go someplace cool with friends. I don't even, like, <laughs> I don't even want to go to a gym. I just want to go someplace. And so... You know, recognizing this is not a poly jealousy thing. This is not, I think they're going to take my spot. Um, they're going to have babies and bank accounts together. This is like you're doing something fun and I, I don't have anything super exciting going on over here. So I feel jelly and nothing is going to change about it. You should still go and do that thing because it's good. It's safe and you're going to be happy for it. And I should just like, you know, tap myself on the forehead because I didn't make any plans. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.